Good morning to all. I am Amar Shankar, Associate Professor of the Department from SA Engineering College. Today, I am going to take electric circuit analysis for gate cores. So in our Tribune Department, subject wise weightage for 2000-2024, they mentioned general aptitude 10 questions, the mark allocation is 15. Engineering Mathematics 10 questions, mark allocation is 1-3. Our Electrical Engineering subject, total number of questions is 45. The mark allocation is 72. So overall, 65 questions for 100 marks. Next, I, in depth, I explain about in our core network theory, electromagnetic theory, digital circuits, analog circuits, control system, signals and system, electrical machines, power system, power electronics, measurements. So these are all the area is important for our electrical engineering group gate course. So I am taking network theory now. So network theory, the average percentage is 8 percentage of questions are asked only from network theory. Star delta conversion, this is part of the electrical circuit. So what is meant by star delta confirmation? Star delta conversion. Okay, it's very very important for electrical engineering students. Why? Because the star delta transformation is applied in motor control circuit and transformer connection also. In motor control circuit, initially the motor running star connection. After certain time period, it change over to delta connection. The purpose is to reduce heavy starting current. Similarly, in transformer also classified based on the star delta transformation, star star connection, delta delta connection. Similarly, star delta connection and delta star connection. So the purpose of star star transformer connection is it can be used in high voltage low current application. Similarly, the delta delta transformer can be used in low voltage high current application. So the star delta transformation is very very important for simplify the complex circuit. Okay. So for example, here how to convert star to delta. The known parameter is star, the unknown parameter is delta. So if we want to transfer to delta means we can use this formula R A R A R B R C is nothing but delta resistance. The equivalent delta resistance is identified based on the known star resistance that is R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 divided by R2. Similarly, Rb is identified based on the R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 divided by R3. The same manner that Rc is also identified based on the R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 divided by R1. It's very very simple because in all the cases the numerator is same. Okay. The denominator only changing. So for example, so in this example, we need delta equivalent resistance, right? The unknown delta equivalent resistance we can draw in the output, outer of the star. Okay. So this is RE. If you need RE, you know, so numerator is nothing but the algebraic sum of product of the adjacent star resistance R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 divided by opposite resistance. Okay, We need R you know. So divided by opposite star resistance. Similarly, we need Rb. Clear? So we need Rb. So divided by opposite resistance that is R1. Clear? So this is nothing but R1. Similarly, we need Rc divided by opposite resistance R3. 
clear. So the, similarly, convert delta to star. Clear. So here the known parameter is delta, unknown parameter is star. Clear. So the unknown star can be drawn in the inner of the delta and find the star resistance. For example, this is R1. So R1 is nothing but product of adjacent delta resistance. So Ra into Rc divided by sum of the delta resistance. Ra plus Rb plus Rc. Here. So this is the easiest way to understand how to convert delta to star. Here. Similarly, we need R2 resistance. So R2 is nothing but product of adjacent delta resistance Ra into Rb divided by sum of the delta resistance Ra plus Rb plus Rc. The same manner R3 is nothing but Rb into Rc divided by Ra plus Rb plus Rc. Clear? Now, this is one of the uh, questions asked in gate. Okay. 12 wires of different resistance are connected as shown in the figure. Find the equivalent resistance A and F. Okay. So, here DOE is one of the triangle. Here OEF is another triangle that is delta connection. Similarly, AOF is another delta. BOA is another delta. BCO is another delta. CDO is also another delta. Clear? So, totally 6 delta is available. Idea is, question is nothing but find the equivalent resistance across AF. Okay? So, first convert any one of the delta because it consists of 6 combination of delta, right? So, I am choosing BOE delta and CBO delta. B O E delta and C B O delta. Okay. So first convert B O E delta into star. Convert into star. Similarly, C B O delta convert into star. So, the next step, so listen, the DOE delta is converted into star. So, idea is uh, draw the inner star, then you can apply the rule, okay, we need star resistance. So, product of adjacent delta resistance divided by sum of the delta resistance, you can apply this formula, you are getting star resistance. This is nothing but star resistance. Okay, so 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 plus 8, we are getting 3.5714. So this is R1. So R1 value is 3.5714. Okay, the R2 value is 2.8571. Okay, the 2.8571 is nothing but the product of 10 into 8 divided by 10 plus 10 plus 8. Product of adjacent delta resistance divided by sum of the delta resistance. So, the value of R2 is 2.8571. Similarly, here also we are getting 2.8571. So, idea is first convert DOE delta into star. Similarly, CBO delta into star. In the same manner, you are getting uh, CBO delta convert into star. The R1 value is 3.5714 and R2 value is 2.8571 and R3 value is again 2.8571. Okay. Next. The next step. After converting the star, the diagram converted into, actually this is delta, right? This delta, the delta is converted into star. Similarly, here also another delta is available. Uh, this delta is also converted into star. Okay, so after conversion, you are getting so this is the equivalent circuit. 
so here the 3.5714 and another 3.5714 then the center element 10 ohm is connected in series here because the two deltas converted into star the circuit is simplified then only we are getting series connection this is the idea so now three resistors are connected in series so the value is 17.1428 so 10 plus 3.5714 plus 3.5714 that is 17.1428 so this is the advantage of star to delta conversion because initially the circuit is nothing but more complex after applying a star delta transformation it is converted into simplified diagram clear because after converting into star all three resistors are connected in series now this is the final diagram after that we are getting this is the final diagram so 17.1428 again uh, 2.8571 2.8571 again one more simplification is also possible these two resistors are in series clear similarly these two resistors are in series clear so 5 and 2.8571 in series here also 5 and 2.8571 is also series clear so this is the advantage of star delta transformation after simplifying the diagram is converted into so initially it's nothing but hexagon now it's nothing but parallelogram so the hexagon is converted into parallelogram because of the star delta transformation okay so again one more initially it consists of six delta right now after simplification after applying a star delta transformation the six delta converted into only four delta so it consists of four delta clear again apply star delta transformation so any one of the delta converted into star i am choosing this one this delta i want to convert into star okay after conversion after conversion i am getting so this is the star equivalent circuit for the previous delta i given the name for this m n o okay the m n o delta converted into star the m n o delta is converted into star okay so this is the m n o delta equivalent star connection equivalent star connection so initially the circuit consists of six delta applying a star delta transformation it reduced to four delta again apply a star delta transformation the m n o delta converted into star okay so here the circuit is again further simplified so the equivalent star value is 2.1428 0.3571 2.1428 okay so this diagram check this diagram these two resistors are in series similarly 2.1428 and 7.8571 is also series after that it consists of single delta and one star so inner it consists of only one star outer it consists of only one delta so four delta converted into single delta and one star now the diagram simplified it consists of only one delta and one star this is the advantage of star delta transformation again the inner star converted into delta after that it consists of two delta okay so inner star converted into delta outer most delta is also available so both are in parallel so now the value is again further simplified the outer value is 9.999 okay this is also 9.999 the third delta resistance is 3 inner delta value is 5.7142 this is also 5.7142 This is eight point zero zero eight four zero. Okay, so these two are in parallel. This is also 
in parallel this to delta resistance also parallel okay now combine both using parallel parallel formula so it converted into single delta but we need what is the equivalent resistance across ef okay so connect the imaginary voltage source across af and mark the current when the current reaches in the a junction point it is divided divided into two part okay wherever the current divide the two branches are connected in parallel okay so the same current flow through this resistance also so 3.6363 and this 3.6363 is connected in series okay so this two resistance connected in series that is in parallel with 2.8915 so the final answer is af is equal to 2.068920 so answer is option a so option a is 6029 this is the correct answer so this is the advantage of star delta transformation initially the circuit the complex circuit consists of six delta finally it converted into single delta based on the star delta transformation thank you